How would you compare yourself with your sister? How are you alike and how are you different? Um, for example, do you like the same kind of music or the same kind of foods? Well, we do look alike, but apart from that, we're very different. She likes um, the arts and I'm more interested in sports. Well, I would say, first of all, that my sister is much better with money than I am. Um, she, you know, she can save, whereas I like to spend. Me and my brother are quite different. Um, I'm much more talkative and, and he's much more shy. But other than that, I mean, we, we grew up in the same house, so we love the same food and we listen to the same music pretty much. And we like the same movies. We, whenever I go back home, I always watch movies with him and stuff. So. In general, which do you think is better, a small family or a large family? Uh, well, speaking from personal experience, I would prefer to have a small family like I do. I feel that parents have more time to spend with their children. Um, there's more funds for each child. Um, but at the same time, I can see how a large family could be fun, having a lot of brothers and sisters and you know, large family occasions. Mm -hmm. So what are the disadvantages of a big family? Um, it's very hectic. It's very noisy. Um, it's like a train station. There's always people going in and out. So you can never have time alone. And you know, when I do want time alone, I'll have to go out, out of the house, to the jog, do something. So it's very, very crowded, noisy, in and out. In your opinion, what is healthy food? I think like a lot, a lot of green things like salad and vegetables and fruits are very healthy. What, what foods would you consider unhealthy? Um, those fast food, potato chips, um, sodas. So do you try to eat healthy foods? I try and eat healthy foods, yes. I don't always succeed, but I try and eat healthy foods. What, what's an ideal diet in your opinion? A lot of would say like potato, vegetables, chicken. So for example, what might you recommend for a good breakfast? Good breakfast would probably be um, an egg. No butter, a little salt and pepper, and maybe a piece of white toast. Or wheat, wheat toast, excuse me. So for example, for dinner tonight, what are you dinner thinking tonight. about for dinner tonight? Okay, I may do chicken, broccoli, or maybe stir fry, which consists of a lot of vegetables like broccoli, carrot, pepper, beans, string beans. Those are the things that I love to cook. Okay, how about uh, spicy foods? Are spicy foods okay to eat? Uh, yes, I'm not a big fan of spicy foods, but uh, I think they're okay to eat. How about sweet foods? Sweet foods? You can eat sweet foods if, if you don't eat too much. Are you an exercise fan? Yes, I love to run. I run in the morning before work and I run on Saturdays and Sundays along the river and through the park. Are you a fan of exercise? Not really. So, Rita, would you consider yourself a couch potato? No, I'm not a couch no. potato. No. Absolutely not. I, I just, I hate to exercise. So do you actually have a routine that you follow? Every day, yes. We go out, uh, I go to the park and uh, meet uh, people who are in my age group. They're 80, 60, 70. We have quite a number of 80s and 190 year old. <laughs> and we either walk or we run for about three and a half miles. And I go, uh, I go to the park when I'm not, no, three days a week I go to the pool and walk in the water. And uh, the rest of the time I go to the park and walk. How often do you do Tai Chi? Uh, about once a week. So, uh, do you feel exercise is important? Yes, I think it's important. But not enough to do it 
more than once a week? <laughs> well, to be honest, I'm very lazy. <laughs> That's why. I wish I could do more exercise. Maybe I should, um, starting from today. Do you fly frequently? Yes, I fly maybe twice a month. Do you fly frequently? I do, yes. Um, I travel a lot with my job, so I'm always on an airplane. What kind of a seat do you request when you fly? I always want to sit at the aisle so I can stretch my legs. I prefer to sit in the back of the plane in a window seat. I always get a window seat. Why? I like to sleep and I need something to lean up against. So, um, have you had any problems with traveling in terms of delayed flights, um, missing flights, anything like that? Yes, I have. Um, I've missed a flight. Um, flights have been canceled. They've been um, delayed. Um, I've had to either go home or if it's in a city that where I'm not from, I've had to get a hotel. So, could you tell me your worst airplane travel nightmare? Yes, when I had to fly from Austria to America, I got stuck in London airport and had to wait 10 hours for a flight that got postponed, first canceled and postponed, and all the stores were closed and all we could do was just sleep on benches and in the, on the floor and try to find food that was not very good. So it was not a good experience. Yeah, that sounds awful. Yes, it was awful. Do you think there's too much violence in movies? I think sometimes some films portray violence a little too graphically, but I feel that um, if it helps the plot along um, and there's sort of a point to the violence, then it's okay, but unnecessary violence really turns me off. So do you choose to go see movies if you know they're going to be violent? I usually tend to see films that get good reviews or are by uh, filmmakers whom I admire. I don't think violence would really you know, sway me one way or the other. Do you ever go to see violent movies yourself? Yes, I've seen violent movies, um, thrillers and, and movies of that nature. Can violent movies be dangerous? Um, I think people are dangerous. I don't know that movies are dangerous. Should children be allowed to see violent movies? No, I don't think children need to be watching violent movies, so. What's your feeling about violence? Is it harmful, particularly to children? Um, it, it, I think violence is um, harmful, um, especially in movies. movies. Children of certain ages should not see uh, violent movies because they're a little more influential and um, don't have the uh, judgment skills that adults do. How about if a person's shopping in an department store and uh, an expensive piece of clothing has a tag on it that's obviously wrong, it's priced too low, uh, would that, should that person tell the cashier or just pay for it? I usually ask. That's me though. <laughs> well, I, I would go to the cashier or I think everybody should go to the cashier at least and ask is that right. And if he says it's right then at least you tried it. And then suppose you found some cash on the street, not in a wallet, just some cash lying on the street. What would you do with it? I'd pick it up and put it in my pocket. <laughs> I usually do not pick up money if a very poor person is around, because I think a poor person needs it more than I do. So I'd leave it lying there. So are the three situations, the restaurant, the department store, and the cash on the street, the same or different? I think each one is different. Why? Um, you make judgments all the time and not everything is equal.
Are you traditional in your medical ideas? That is, do you kind of believe in Western medicine, or do you like to explore non-traditional treatments such as acupuncture or homeopathic medicine? Um, I don't explore uh, non-traditional treatments as much as I would probably like to. I think there's probably a lot of merit in them, and they haven't been studied enough. I'm more traditional than anything else in my, in my medication or my medical practices. I'm more for the naturalistic approach. I like, um, you know, more na natural um, herbal medicines. In your opinion, what are the advantages of traditional Western medicine and surgery? Uh, I think the enormous amount of research and, uh, and uh, proven fact that, that, that's behind our medicine uh, just uh, makes, it, makes me feel more comfortable with it. What do you see as maybe some disadvantages of Western medicine? Um, I think at times Western medicine can make the problem worse in trying to make problems better. Are there any non-traditional therapies that you use? Um, I drink a lot of tea, actually, so I guess that's pretty non-traditional. Um, usually when I feel myself coming down with something, I will take an echinacea, which is an herbal medicine. I'll, I'll prior drink a lot of orange juice since vitamin C helps you. But if I feel really sick, then I'll take a cough medicine. Could you tell me what your career or occupation is? I'm an elementary school teacher. My career path will be in marketing, helping uh, companies build their brand and help market products to a, the general consumer. Um, I work in um, television and um, I would like to eventually produce and direct. Did you think that uh, you'd be in marketing when you were a child? Uh, no. I thought I'd be president of the United States <laughs> or drive a fire truck. What made teaching a good career for you? First of all, I love children. And I liked the idea of imparting some of my knowledge to young ones. Everybody has skills, talents, and abilities. So, you know, some people are artistic, others have mechanical ability. What would you say are some of your skills? Um, I would say um, I have a lot of artistic ability. Um, I did a lot of art in um, school. Uh, good question. Uh, my skills and talents would be uh, coming up with new ideas, different ideas, creative ideas that kind of build a buzz around a product. Do you think that talents and abilities are genetic? I think they're a combination of both genetics and environment. I think that you are born with certain um, qualities that your parents, I think, are, have and, and just living with the, the people around you and, and, and um, learning from your teachers and those that you're constantly interacting with you pick up certain skills. You're from Germany. What is a wedding like in Germany? Well, first of all, you have to have a civil ceremony where you go to um, to the city hall and well you make it you make everything official and then traditionally you go to church and have the religious ceremony and is there a wedding reception afterward usually there is of course um, after church when is everybody's waiting for the broom and the bride coming out and throwing rice at them and flowers and then the whole crew is going to a nice place, having dinner and having a party. You mentioned that uh, your family is originally from Ghana. Yes. Could you tell me a little bit about the uh, courtship and, and marriage ceremonies of your country? Um, there is a traditional, sometimes they do involve like the American type of wedding, the very traditional, you walk down the aisle and, but they also in, um, there's also the traditional part in African culture and um, you wear the clothing, the outfits, it's much longer. Um, sometimes it can go into the next day, some people it extends. Tell me about the reception. 
they find a place to go to or it's uh, out, outside sometimes it's a big tent like it just depends on the bride and groom and what they want and there's tons of dancing traditional dancing um, eating lots of food um, sometimes you have somebody come in and talk about how they know him and how um, how good he is and what he's done and you know people given thoughts of wisdom of how to be together and it just it's just really a great thing <laughs> Music fan? Uh, depending on the music, yeah. So, what kinds of music do you like? I like classic rock. So, how often do you listen to music? Um, at least twice a day. And wh when do you usually listen to music? Um, I use listen to music whenever I'm waking up in the morning and getting ready, and also whenever I'm getting ready to go out in the evenings. So I always listen to music. So, do you go to concerts? Yes, sometimes. What? Do you have a lot of CDs or cassettes? Yes, quite a lot. I own very many CDs, but my husband owns lots of CDs, and so I listen to his instead. Music fan. Uh, depending on the music, yeah. So what kinds of music do you like? I like classic rock. So how often do you listen to music? Um, at least twice a day. And when do you usually listen to music? Um, I use listen to music whenever I'm waking up in the morning and getting ready, and also whenever I'm getting ready to go out in the evening, so I always listen to music. Do you go to concerts? Yes. Sometimes. What do you have a lot of CDs or cassettes? Yes, quite a lot. And very many CDs, but my husband owns lots of CDs, and so I listen to his instead. 